my dad was very kind and he was very warm. And my dad was what you would call a gentleman. Being honest, being ethical, these were, these were pillars we lived with. It is our wish in my father's memory that these attributes always are associated with the School of Accountancy. From 1945 to 1965, a brilliant young professor and accounting professional, Charles W. Lambden served as SDSU's College of Business Administration's first dean. He and his talented wife, Trudy, had a vision for the school they loved. My parents' lives were filled with accomplishment and meaning and now what they've done has lasting benefit to their family and to the community. As a professor, Dr. Lambden was rigorous, fair, and approachable. He wanted his students to succeed. He set the bar high. He was this great man. He was larger than life. He had done it all. He had done as much in the profession as, as anyone can do, and yet he was very humble students lined up to talk to him. He set the bar, and I think he has still set the bar. He was the consummate professional. Uh, he embarrassed all the young faculty, he always wore a coat and tie, which none of us wore, uh, every day. I mean, you'd never see Charles not dressed professionally. He was just the totally involved faculty member. The strong ties between today's San Diego business community and the Charles W. Lambden School of Accountancy began with Dr. Lambden's single-minded purpose and the belief that business and education have common goals. He was instrumental in developing the School of Business, achieving accreditation for the School of Business almost single-handedly. Charles was very important in establishing this long-term relationship with the accounting profession at the national level, the regional level, and the uh, local level. Uh, and I think part of this reputation that we have for being on the prime recruiting school, in the top 50, 100 to most schools in the country, was a direct result of Charles because he was kind of the leader of that movement. All the things as a student that I gained from San Diego State are all rolled into Dr. Lambden. His high standards were so important and impressed me and a lot of people that uh, it, you know it had a lifelong um, impression on us. I think what's important is being true to yourself uh, in terms of uh, what your purpose is. Those are values that Professor Lambden helped to instill in his students. He was very well known, very professional, but he always had time to talk to students, always had time to talk to faculty as well and mentor them. So he was just a genuinely nice human being. Sought after for his business savvy and understanding of global finance, Dr. Lambden was named director of the Paris office of Pete Marwick, now KPMG, in the late 1960s. When he resumed teaching in 1975, he returned to his roots. Teaching was my father's passion. An educator is what he was. He loved teaching. He absolutely loved teaching. That was his first love professionally. And he loved the students. And it was something that gave him great joy. Twice named Outstanding Professor by SDSU students, Dr. Lambden's classes were always favorites. When he returned, he had this great professional experience all the way up through, you know, running the European operation. So he, sh he could give a level of insight that none of the rest of us could. Looking back, I realized I was really lucky to have Dr. Lambden as a professor. The stories that he could tell us from his real world experience in the U.S. and in, in, in Paris, I understood I was lucky to have a professor like him that prepared me for not only the exam, but for my career. Charles could answer just about any question the student could come up with about what's life like as an accountant, and that's very important. The art of accountancy, this is one of the things that Dr. Lambden always talked about, is that Auditing was about looking at specific accounts and understanding the books and records, but it's also about understanding the whole business. Why are they in business? What, what is their 
competitive advantage and what's going to make them successful in the future years. Charles would teach anyone who wanted to learn. He had a passion for teaching and a passion for teaching accounting. It made you want to become an accountant. That level of responsibility, that level of professionalism was intriguing. Charles W. Lambden believed that practitioners in the profession of accounting should be standard bearers of personal integrity and of unquestionable ethical choices. This belief was passed on. The culture you have is always set from the top. Our job is to take the students we have and make them the best we can. They end up having so much self-confidence that they can do anything and setting the bar high is what Charles really established here. Charles in one person sort of symbolized everything that we wanted our students to have. He was academic, his integrity was impeccable, uh, he was a professional because he was so tied to the business community and he had a global mindset. Charles and his wife Trudy shared a common goal, excellence in all endeavors. Trudy's remarkable achievements in real estate enabled Professor Lambden to concentrate on expansion and improvements at the School of Accountancy. Their success was together. Trudy passed away in 2010. My mother was a working mother, and this was the 1950s. Women weren't working mothers. My mother was a working professional. They were way ahead of their time. <laughs> Charles was so proud of her. She was one of the first women CPAs. She was a pioneer for women. And he would talk in his class about how he was the academic and she was the businesswoman. After his retirement in 1991, Charles passed away in 1992. In 2008, the Lambden family made a financial gift to the School of Accountancy. San Diego State School of Accountancy was renamed the Charles W. Lambden School of Accountancy. It was Charles and Trudy, once again advancing San Diego State University's enduring tradition of excellence. The naming gift has allowed the Charles W. Lambden School of Accountancy to continue to provide scholarships, attract and hire top faculty, and maintain the level of quality education that Charles epitomized. Having Charles' name on the School of Accountancy was always really important. And it was really important while I was the director of the Charles W. Lambden School of Accountancy to tell the students about Charles and Trudy. Because the naming was for Charles, and it's Charles' name that is on the school. But the naming happened because of Trudy's success. I was very excited when I heard that Trudy Lambden was going to make a donation so that the School of Accountancy at San Diego State could be named after Charles. He personifies what we all should be aspiring to in terms of ethics and integrity and professionalism. The theme of the gift became the excellence of the faculty, the excellence of the students, and I think that was really appropriate because that's what Charles was all about. His whole connection to the university and the students and why he loved it so much was to be part of the future. And this gift was done by people who knew him and by people who knew how much that the excellence meant to him. The Landum gift is absolutely essential. We simply couldn't do it without it. His standards were very high, but I think that Charles also really felt that you could make a place be what you wanted it to be. If Dr. Lambden was here with us today, he'd be extremely proud of what we've accomplished at the Charles W. Lambden School of Accountancy. Charles W. Lambden's influence led to national recognition. During Charles's tenure and through today, Lambden graduates do well landing jobs and keeping them. The faculty goal at San Diego State 35 years ago is no different than it is today, and it's reflected by the public accounting firm's desire to come every semester, every year, and take our brightest and our best into those firms. Our reputation has grown, and we become a national accounting destination, and your reputation just snowballs. When we send somebody out here with an SDSU accounting degree, we can look at the employer and say, this is a good person to hire.
The Landman legacy is something that all of us can aspire to. I think it sets the bar high for our students, sets the bar high for faculty members, and I believe that all of us are better off for that. We need to be the best. That was true when he taught. It's especially true now.